so so we saw that the the gases they deviate from their ideal behavior both in this and here that is the experimental observation now what is the reason behind it that should be our next question and reason should not be that far away if you start understanding how we we started this analysis there were some some assumptions that we took is it not there were certain assumptions so the moment you go back to those assumptions immediately it will become clear to you why these this deviation should be there maybe perhaps because the underlying assumptions themselves are are not holding good at whatever conditions you are dealing you are talking about the the behavior of the gases right okay so 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 there are two things okay <coughs> so 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 two questions arise two questions arise arise number 1 number 1 number 1 why do gases deviate from ideal behavior deviate from ideal behavior and second is under what conditions do they deviate under what conditions is the deviation severe okay under what conditions is the deviation severe and 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 we made some assumptions right the first assumption if you remember that we made was there was no intermolecular interaction and we were right to an extent okay and why did we say that we said that it will be so because they are so far apart compared to their own sizes correct but what if yes they are, they are about more than 10 molecular distances their own size 10 times their own size that is the intermolecular distance okay 10 is huge so if you are standing here uh so if you are standing here the other fellow is standing say hmm say at that wall it is large compared to the solid and liquid <coughs> right it is it is large so what happens when you start compressing them if you start compressing them what happens hmm intermolecular forces come into play right so so the intermolecular forces might be coming into play so that is one okay so they are becoming nearer and nearer and your and your normal assumption itself gets demolished okay so so the first thing and and <coughs> and, and if you remember that was something that we that we made the assumption while while uh, while we did the kinetic theory of gases there also we said they are so far apart that they simply do not do not disturb each other right so so the reason may be that the underlying assumptions do not hold good under certain conditions 
certain conditions and what are those conditions number one we said the assumption that there are no intermolecular forces there are no intermolecular forces conditions are changing right under certain conditions what is happening here you see they start approaching the ideal behavior as p becomes less they start deviating as the p becomes higher right they start becoming the same as the p starts becoming less and many a times you're dealing with chemical reactions which are which are actually happening at the atmospheric pressure so the conditions are not that severe but what happens if you subject a uh, subject a gas to 200 atmosphere of pressure and we do that in organic chemistry then you'll find so many reactions which were not taking place they have suddenly started getting initiated so when the conditions are severe things change okay so so the assumptions that there are no intermolecular forces is wrong why is it wrong as at very high pressures under certain under certain conditions of temperature the gases get liquefied the gases get liquefied they do even your lpg at room temperature is a, is a liquefied petroleum gas okay you shake the cylinder there is a sound as if uh, the, the sound that comes from a vessel that contains water <coughs> chuang chuang that kind of sound and and that kind of push you'll feel okay that never happens in a in a cylinder with gas right so the the gases get liquefied <coughs> so so and how how will something get liquefied until and unless it has that intermolecular attraction till that point it will not get liquefied because in liquids and the solids the intermolecular distances become very very small so much so that they are not compressible right they are so near that any any further you try to push them they start developing a repulsive force if you puncture the cylinder then you reduce the pressure then what happens if you puncture the cylinder a liquefied petroleum gas cylinder then you reduce the pressure then what happens first of all the the gas will escape the gas which escapes suddenly comes under under a, a lesser pressure so it expands and it vaporizes it becomes a gas so that's why your gas stove when you when you when you're using it you don't see any liquid coming out of it right it has traveled all the way from the nozzle and by that time it has become a gas and that's how you get it otherwise if you if you did not liquefy it you will be requiring a very 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 big cylinder right and that in itself will, will be a chaos a big chaos okay somehow we still do not have those pipelines normally you don't find such crude kinds of of transportation of gases in 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 any in any country worth its name fine but but we still do have because there are rural areas there are problems and you cannot lay down the pipelines i don't know why and the pipelines that you <coughs> lay down normally leak okay so when water leaks obviously gas will also leak hmm? it is finer than water and maybe you'll incur huge loss or there could be people who will come and tap it from there hmm? Hmm? they tap it from there and there is so so much of illegal digging going on that someone hits 
hits with a shovel or something and, and your pi pipeline gets burst and then no one owns the responsibility and maybe so many things that must be there but nothing more than any our inefficiency. So, so the assumption that there are no so 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 fine so so this gets violated maybe and yes we'll soon see the liquefaction of gases we have to press just reduce the temperature and you have a liquid you have liquid nitrogen you have liquid oxygen you have liquid hydrogen you have anything you you just tell it and and you have it okay so 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 that is one assumption that must be wrong there was another assumption that the volume is negligible. The volume of the, the assumption that, that the volume of, of the gases, of the gas particles is negligible. is wrong. It starts becoming blatantly wrong as you start compressing it. Okay. Well, fine, you have got a lot of space and really they are negligible. Fine. But as you start compressing it, they their own volume is there, right? Their own volume is there and that might become a substantial amount of, substantial fraction of the total volume. <coughs> so what you are saying does not hold good. We understand. So what we are saying does not hold good. Okay. So, so what happens, you just try to, 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 to look at this. At the same pressure, an ideal gas has a lesser volume than a real gas. Now why is the volume of the real gas more? The volume of the real gas is more for the very reason that there is some amount of gaseous molecules also there. Apart from the volume in which it is free to move, the, the, the empty thing, apart from that, it has got its own volume which got added into that. So real gas has got lesser amount of volume to, to move. Right. So when you are saying, when, when you are saying this is the ideal gas, the real <coughs> gas volume is more. The reason, the reason is that those molecules, the volumes of those molecules are also getting added. Okay, and 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 it is that. That is the volume of the molecules is the same. That is. Hmm. Hmm. Right. So. So so let us try to understand now. So so what have you done? You have started bringing the molecules together. They have started developing intermolecular forces, which are attractive in nature. Okay. Because, because till a point we have seen when we were forming bonds, right? That, that they keep on attracting the nucleus of one attracts the electron cloud of the other and the vice versa. The nucleus of this attracts this and, and so it comes on, comes together, together, together till the electron, electron repulsion and the nucleus, nucleus repulsion takes over. And that's where the, the bond forms, right? Now what happens? So, so so what happens is, is there is a container and the gas, the gaseous particles which were earlier free to roam about and hit the, hit the wall of the container with whatever force they wanted. Now they are being held back by their partners due to the intermolecular attraction. Okay. So as the volume decreases, decreases the intermolecular forces the intermolecular attraction increases and the gaseous particles and the gaseous particles 
and the gas particle are not able to hit are not able to hit and <coughs> rebound from the walls with the same velocity or 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 the particles with the same velocity right now they do so with a lesser velocity now they do so with a lesser velocity hence the the pressure of a real gas starts becoming lesser so the pressure of a real gas gas becomes lesser than the ideal gas that means the ideal gas pressure is more than the real gas pressure okay so so p ideal the pressure of the ideal <coughs> is pressure of the real plus a n square upon v square so real is this right this is our expected calculated right expected or calculated from the ideal gas equation this is the observed this is the observed and this comes as the correction term correction term where a is a constant n is the number of particles number of particles v is the volume a is a constant okay so p real is p ideal minus something p ideal is p real plus something okay also the total volume the free space in which the particles are moving that also becomes less in the ideal case okay in the ideal case the volume becomes lesser so do i raise this in the real case in the real case <coughs> in the real gases the volume of the the volume of the the gas the volume in which the gas is moved in which the gas moves the gas is free to move becomes less because the gaseous particles are occupying are occupying a substantial amount of volume therefore does